How to sell your app to big companies. I got a great question from one of my YouTube viewers, love you guys, Erdy, who wrote in to say, Hi, I'm Erdy. I'm an individual self-taught iPhone app developer. My app called See That is in its first month live in the App Store with over 50 downloads and much data. It's a photo video app, social network. My question to you is how can I sell my app to any sort of company or at least have companies invest in my app or me for future successes? I'm trying to sell it but to no avail. Thank you, Mr. Evan. So this is a great question and a huge challenge for a lot of people because there's so many apps out there, right? There are so many apps and especially, you know, on my, my home screen of the phone, there's limited space, right? And your app has to be really good. That is, that is the first barrier. Your app has to be good, it has to be something that is amazing. Okay. Most apps either suck or are just okay. And if that's your app, then you're not gonna have a lot of success with it. And you need to really work to make it better. The key thing I would look at the start is, how many people are starting to talk about you? From these 50 people who've downloaded your app, now that's a small amount, but it's still 50 people. It's not one person, right? How many of them are using it? How many of them load it every day and are using it? And then how many of them are actually telling their friends about it? Because when I like something, I tell my friends about it. I make a video about it. I like to show it off because it's helping make an impact in my life. So how many of those 50 people are using it and telling their friends about it? And if it's not a lot, then I wouldn't even go to a big company yet because you're not ready. If people are not using your app every single day and telling their friends about it and you're seeing your growth come from your current user base, you're getting word of mouth marketing happening. If that's not happening with your business, if they're not logging on every day, then you need to make your app better. And that may be a hard truth. And I know for a lot of entrepreneurs, it's frustrating because you put so much work into this app and creating it and developing it. Like now I want to get it out there. I just want to make some money. I got to start, I got to start paying some bills here. But you may be at the point right now where your app isn't good enough yet. And you gotta invest more into making it better. So again, I look at those 50 people. Are they using it? Are they telling their friends? If not, then work with those people. You have a little bit of a base, work with them to make it something amazing. And then you're ready to keep going, right? You should be seeing your subscriber base grow, 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 because they're using word of mouth, because they love it so much. Once you get there, Next step is how do you get into these big companies? Go through connections. And what I'd love doing here is finding people who can help me kick up a storm. Okay, you want people reviewing it. You want the media talking about it. You want customers spreading stories for you. And I'd reach out to targeted people who have an audience of a corporate market. So for example, if you were trying to sell something to entrepreneurs, it'd be a good idea to reach out to me. Right, if you had an app for entrepreneurs, and there's a lot of apps that people pitch me and, and most of them suck and I would never use them, so that's why I never talk about them. But you'd reach out to somebody like me who works with corporations instead of entrepreneurs and show them what you do. And again, they have to be wowed, right? It comes back to, is the product good enough? Because if you show me an app and it's not great and something I'm, I'm not gonna use in my day-to-day -day life, then I'm not going to talk about it. And then it makes it so much harder to come back to that person and say, hey, we've made some changes. Are you willing to look at it again? You have to make that first impression count. Once you get those connections, and it's not that hard. Like these guys, I'm looking for content. I'm looking for products all the time that will help entrepreneurs. And I'm pretty accessible. Most of these guys, these media guys, these bloggers, these social media guys are pretty accessible. That's how they've built their following. But the key is that you're reaching out to them with something that's quality. And if they talk about you and they use it and they're going to conferences and they're making videos and they're tweeting about how great this thing is, it's going to take off. What you need is one corporate person to use it and love it. Okay. Your third step then is once you get somebody in that corporate environment using it to support that person, because you need somebody in the corporation to be your champion. Right? You want them to say how great it is and to then sell it to the rest of the company. And if they are loving it and they're using it every day, they're going to help you do that. So if you find that one person who is a user who is using it in this company, you want to reach out to them and just be a, be a support, whatever they need 
to help champion this thing forward. However you can be a resource to them, you want to help, you want to encourage them. Okay, so that's my three-step process. One, it's got to be great. If it's not great, if they're not referring people, if they're not using it every day, then don't even think about promoting it yet. Make it better. Two, start reaching out to influencers, social media people, bloggers, people in the mainstream media who have your target audience as their readership and introduce your app to them. And then three, when you have one person in the company using it, support them, help them be your champion, give them whatever they need to sell this thing throughout the corporation and you'll have a lot more success. But a lot of people where they're falling down is still at that first step where the app just isn't good enough and you gotta make it better. Believe. For those of you watching, you like this video, you can support me with the link below. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Click on my face, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.